Hi, in this video, I'm gonna go over two different mini PC devices, the GoIn R86S B series model and the GoIn R86S P series models. Um, they're very similar in design, but there are some differences that are worth talking about, so I decided to combine them in the one video. Uh, so let's get started. The Go and R86S has three different model series currently. The B, B series, the P series, and the G series. I have one of the B series and one of the P series the current, the, to review first. And in the future, I might have a, a, a G series model to look at as well. Um, but I thought these ones are, are worth talking about in the one review because they're very similar. But there are a few notable differences that we'll talk about in this video. The R86S B series comes equipped with the Intel Celeron N5100 CPU with four cores and four threads, eight or 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, three 2.5 gigabit ethernet interfaces, and WAPF 6 Bluetooth optional module, a 128 gigabyte EMMC built-in storage, an NVMe PCIe 3 X4 interface, a micro SDTF slot, two USB 3.0 ports, one HDMI port, and it's a fanless design. The RD6 SP series comes equipped with the Intel Celeron N5105 CPU with four cores and four threads, eight or 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, three 2.5 gigabit ethernet interfaces, a Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth optional module, 128 gigabytes of EMMC built-in storage, an NVMe PCIe 3.0 X4 interface, a micro SDTF slot, two USB 3.0 ports, one HDMI port, and this design has a fan included. One thing that's the most striking about this mini PC is its size. Um, I have a Raspberry Pi 4 case, and you can see how it's actually not much bigger than a Raspberry Pi 4 case. It's, it's like handheld, it's like a pocket you know, uh, mini PC router firewall appliance. As you can see in these two models here, you notice on the fr very front of it, you can tell it has no fan on the front and this one has a fan. So they actually make the lowest model, the B series model, actually has a fanless, it's actually a fanless PC. Um, so if, if, you're, if you prefer fanless devices, the B series model is the one they go for. The P series model it, uh, has a fan in it. As you can see in the light here, you can actually tell when you angle it in the light, you can, the fan it really helps kind of keep it a little bit cooler because this one runs a little bit hotter than this, even though it has a, uh, a little slower CPU. It's worth getting the one with the fan because it's got a little faster CPU, it's not much more expensive. Um, and it doesn't produce a lot of noise and it does stay, it does run a little bit cooler because of the fan, even though it has a faster CPU using more energy, more power consumption. Um, so uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. If, you, if you're absolutely dead set on fanless fan, you have to get the B-series model. But if you don't mind the potential for like a very faint sound, if you're really close to the device, then the P-series will be great because the performance of the CPU is better. And I noticed with the, when I did a, um, some tests with like, you know, Zen Armor and Suricata and stuff that it actually does perform a little better. When uh, I saw the, sort of the home review said it was a little bit noisy, but the 10 gigabit model actually has two fans in it. So I imagine that one, and the way it's designed because it has airflow it comes out the kind of the middle layer and, and the one that comes out the top uh, and it's probably even definitely noisier than this model i have i'm hoping to get a g-series model in the future to, to, to review it myself and I'll, I'll i'll be able to tell the difference between the p-series and the g-series uh how much noise level difference there is so that there's uh, some of the the two differences from the out from the outside that you'll notice the most these re are review units they both have Wi-Fi places for Wi-Fi antennas here. Um, these two models actually, because I have the, have the B3 and the P2 model, they actually have, um, do not come with Wi-Fi. As you see down here, this is the Wi-Fi module. This is optional. You can buy it with it um, installed or you can buy it later and then install that later. One thing I find interesting about this mini PC, besides its very compact size, is the fact that it has NVMe storage. So, a lot of these mini PC firewall devices that are bigger than this device actually only have SSD storage, which while that's still reasonably fast for a small device, it's not nearly as fast as this, this device is capable of. It actually has PCIe 3.0 by four, has like four lanes of PCIe Express bandwidth. So I actually put a Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe drive in and I got the full advertised speed. So it was really great to see that kind of storage performance on here, even though 
for if you're using it as a firewall appliance, you may not necessarily need that kind of uh, speed, <laughs> but it's nice to have if you want to, if you, you could use this as a tiny little NAS, you could actually probably utilize some of that extra speed and that performance if you're utilizing all these um, extra, you know, if you're maxing out all these streams, you might be able to take advantage of that more so than just SSD. As you can see in here, uh, since this device is very small, it made sense to use a small storage like this and might as well make it, you know, fast, you know, storage. And one thing that's interesting that I didn't really realize until I was uh, watching the Serve the Homes review on the device, I didn't take, I didn't open it up completely initially when I first got this device, is that the, whatever RAM you get in this device, whether it's eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes, whatever you get is what you get. You can't upgrade that because I didn't realize it, but on the back side of the motherboard, when you take it all apart, um, it's actually the the memory chips are actually soldered on so you can't replace them So if you were buying this an 8 gig model and you think oh, I can just upgrade to 16 gigabytes later You can't so I think they did that in an effort to save space to make this thing this device so small You can't actually upgrade the RAM it's in it. So that's a good thing to note I actually use it as my main firewall device for about a month just to try it out to see how it actually works when I'm using it on my network and um, Things seem to work pretty well on it. I know some people are worried about the i225 um uh, chipset for the because this doesn't use the IT26 Intel um, chipset, so it does seem to work okay for me. I hope you find this video on the Go on R86S uh, useful for you um, when you're trying to consider like what kind of firewall devices you'd like to purchase, or even a little miniature PC or a little budget mini mini NAS PC that's kind of in the form factor and similar to a Raspberry Pi, a little bit bigger, a lot more powerful. These devices give you a lot of network bandwidth and a lot of storage bandwidth with the, with the NVMe drive. If you get the models without 10 gigabits, they're, they're actually a lot cheaper. Um, uh, so if you don't need those extra interfaces, uh, extra bandwidth uh, network interfaces, these are good models to consider. I have a lot more details on my website at homenetworkguy.com. Until next time, have a good day.